What is going on everyone? Welcome to Same Old Everton and this is our match preview for Everton against West Ham United at Goodson Park tomorrow morning. Listen, no other words to say than a relegation six-pointer and even six matches into a new Premier League campaign, this match is very, very important for both teams, for both David Moyes and Frank Lampard. We need to look at this match and say we need to take the three points and honestly, looking ahead to this match, I need to see the three points. Nothing more, nothing less. Three points is only acceptable. And maybe a team like West Ham United, when they look at what they've got up against them, they're looking at Everton at Goodson Park. Goodson Park has been a tough away day at times for West Ham United over the last few years. They might come here, look at their form, but look at Everton's form and say, listen, we'll take the point. Let's just avoid a defeat. But for a team like Everton, when you look at West Ham United at the moment, they're coming up to Goodson Park. We know that over the last few years, when West Ham have come up to Goodson Park, they've been in a disappointing spot of form when, you know, turning up to Goodson Park. Sometimes we take advantage of that, sometimes we don't. Last year, I think, was worth talking about in terms of a match between Everton and West Ham United, and I'm going to speak on that results a little bit later on. But you look at West Ham United, they're turning up to Goodson Park, a tough away day for any team. Uh, West Ham have, over the years, found it difficult at times coming up here. Sometimes they, live, uh, they leave here with the three points, sometimes they don't. It's a very 50-50 match, you know, whenever we go down to um, the London Stadium, you never know what results you're going to get. It could go three ways. It could end as a draw, a West Ham win, or an Everton win. When it's at Goodson Park, again, no different. It could be a West Ham win, Everton win, or draw. It is very a very competitive fixture, and there's really no favourites for this match between Everton and West Ham United. But as an Everton supporter, where we've got home advantage, you're looking at West Ham United, they're currently in the relegation zone with just four points from their first six Premier League matches of this season. Level on points with us, we just hover above them on goal difference, uh, just above the relegation zone. But you're looking at this match and you're looking at West Ham in general this season. They look last, lackluster, they look mediocre defensively, they don't look solid at all. Up front, they're lacking that bit of quality and that cutting edge within the Premier League. In general, as a team, they look very messy. They look all over the place. I was watching them against Silksborg um, in the Europa Conference League a few days ago when they went over to Denmark. And what I saw in that match was a team that were struggling, that were very, very lucky to get past a, listen, a competitive Silksborg team, but a team that you would expect a team like West Ham to beat. They had a strong enough team going out uh, to Denmark. They had a more, more than a good enough team to go out and get the job done, but they just edged out the, the, the Denmark side. And it's, it's a match like that that makes me think, listen, we can get something against West Ham United. Like This West Ham team have shown their vulnerability. They've shown that they are weak at the back and up front. They can look clueless at times. And they've shown that in the Premier League so far this season. They just don't look that confident. They don't look to know what their starting eleven is. They don't know what to adapt to. They're completely different to the West Ham United team you saw at the start of last season. Now, I would look at that West Ham team and say, at home, we should be taking the three points off of them. That's not to say I'm underestimating West Ham United, because I know Everton. I know what Everton can do. They will make this match ten times tougher than what it needs to be. But if Everton are really serious about moving forward, getting, getting off the back of what was a very impressive draw against Liverpool a few weeks ago, we need to go and take the three points off of West Ham. A point would not be good enough, and certainly losing would not be good enough as we approach the international break. We need to build off of the draw against Liverpool, and most of all, we need to build off of a win. And getting a win just before the international break as we approach an action-packed Premier League campaign in October, we need to take the three points off of West Ham United. But West Ham might look at it in the same way. Maybe they'd be happy to leave Goodson Park with a point before the international break but for the most part both teams need something from this match but for me a point would not be good enough we need to take the three points off of West Ham and it's not going to be by any means easy as I've mentioned already we know what West Ham are like sometimes sometimes they turn up at Goodson Park and they're absolutely lackluster mediocre they just look like an Everton team from last season 
And then sometimes you get the West Ham United team that just turns up and gets the job done. Defensively solid as a brick wall and up front they take their chances just like they were last season. I would compare this match ahead of us to our match uh, last season against West Ham at Goodison Park. Before that match, both teams were doing alright. Mid-table at the time, Everton had had a strong start to their era under Rafa Benitez at the start of last season. And West Ham United were looking quite solid under David Moyes at the start of that Premier League campaign. We were just three points above West Ham United at the time of that match. Um, you know, not by any teams, a team that were looking to compete for European football. But we looked at West Ham United. We saw that we were at home. We thought to ourselves, listen, we can get the three points against West Ham here. And what ended up happening is that we underestimated them, we gave them too much power, too much confidence, and they ended up taking the three points off of us, and des deservedly so. I remember that match distinctly, and we deserved to lose that match. We were very poor, we didn't give West Ham United the respect they well and truly deserved ahead that match, and we ended up losing because of it. And that match not only was a massive blow to us having the hope of maybe competing for European football under Rafa Benitez, because when we lost that match 1-0 against West Ham, when that final whistle blew last season, I thought to myself, this is going to be the same old Everton as we've had over the last two years, where yes, you look at West Ham, you look at Southampton, teams we should be beating at home, and we don't end up beating them, and those are the sort of results that end up uh, having us uh, messing out in European football. So when we lost that match to West Ham, I was gutted. But never did I think, alongside many other Everton supporters, never did I think that that result would have such a catastrophic effect on the rest of our season. Because after that match, we went on to lose to West uh, Watford, Wolves, Manchester City, we drew against Liverpool, we lost to Brentford, we lost to Liverpool, and it was only in early December when we won at Goodison Park against Arsenal where we broke that long winless run that we had ranging from mid-October to early December, almost two months without a win in the Premier League. And at that point in time when we got that win against Arsenal, we were hovering above the relegation zone. But we didn't build off of that result against Arsenal. We continued week in, week out to lose matches. Then maybe every now and then we get the three points off of a team at Goodson Park. And then the week after that, we go on and lose again. It's like Groundhog Day. Sometimes you win and then for the next five, six matches, you go on and lose or draw. That happens with Everton too often. And we've seen it time and time again over the last few years. But this match is significant. It's a relegation six-pointer. Let's not take that away. Both teams need the points. West Ham are in the relegation zone. We're just above them, uh, in, above the relegation zone with West Ham United. We're level on points. We're six matches into the Premier League campaign and Everton need to take the three points off of West Ham United because looking at our October schedule in the Premier League, Southampton away, Man United at home, Tottenham away, Newcastle United, you know, teams like that. When you look at our schedule for the start of October, you look at those sort of games and you think to yourself, our record against Southampton away from home is poor. You never know what Man United team is going to turn up at Goodson Park. It could be the one where we edge them out in a 1-0, 2-0 win, or the Man United that will nick the points off of us. Um, you've got Tottenham away. We're terrible away from home from Tottenham. Last year, we got battered 5-0 by them away from home. Newcastle United, teams like that, teams like that that will be looking for the points and maybe will be hungrier than us to go and get those points. So really, looking at West Ham tomorrow, it's nothing but three points. Nothing but three points is acceptable. We can't, like, when we drew against New, uh, Nottingham Forest a few weeks ago, I looked at that match and said, I'll take the point, but I'm not happy with the point because yes, we were a few minutes away from getting humiliated, against uh, Nottingham Forest, so when we got that late goal, I said to myself, okay, we'll take the point and move on. I wasn't happy with the point, but I took it. Against West Ham, I don't want us to be in any circumstances in which we have to accept the point. We need to take the three points against West Ham tomorrow, because if we don't, it's seven matches to start this Premier League campaign without a win. Possibly, and let, listen, if West Ham win tomorrow, they'll go above us and we'll end up in the relegation zone. If we draw, we'll stay just above them uh, from the relegation zone um, because of our goal difference, of course. But it has to be three points tomorrow. Um, 
Just looking at West Ham United, this is a good time to play them when they're lacking confidence, when they just look so poorly prepared ahead this match against Everton. And we need to build off of that Merseyside derby draw. Listen, we could have won that match. We probably deserved to win that match, but in the end, we didn't. So we take that point. We'll be happy with the point, but we need to build off of it. There's no nonsense, no excuses from Lang Frank Lampard or this Everton team tomorrow. It's three points or nothing at the end of the day. A point would not be acceptable, and a defeat is not an option. Absolutely not. So, yeah, that is my preview for the match against West Ham United tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts ahead of this match against West Ham. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all very much for your continued support. And of course, I will see you all later.